this for a breakfast spread? I have pretty good trail angels. Everybody, got to Newfound Gap, and look who I found! It's Fix It! The guy with the sticker on his head. <laughs> the guy with the sticker on his head. And Jax is over there on the, the little terrace. And Gravity is just about to say goodbye. We might as well do the little hug goodbye now. Thank you so much for your letting me stay with you. Oh, it was a delight. <laughs> I'm very happy. All right. Well, fix it. I'm so glad I ran into you again. Yeah, we, I've been saying like I, I really want to see you guys. No, nope. I'm just tooling around. <laughs> Jax has, is doing a cool thing I wanted to show everyone. So, so basically I'm just, anybody I meet on the trail, I ask them, of course, no obligation, to just take a headshot and they give me their trail name, real name, fake name, whatever. And maybe when I'm all done with this, I'll compile it all together and memories of who I met when I met them, so. Nice. Now I'm gonna nice. do sun kiss. Okay, it's my so. turn, Beans. Hello. Hey. Um, Beans has a cool thing he's doing. Everybody is signing his backpack. Let's see if I know anyone. I met Freya. Freya. Cornelius, I know him. He's cool too. Yeah. I thought it was Jax J A X. No, it's a Dragon. I, I know your name him. though, right? Yeah. Nice. Tony boy. Meeting more familiar oh, I mean, faces. <laughs> Applesauce. <laughs> Hey. 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 This is crazy. What was covered in frost yesterday is now a big muddy mess. Okay, I think I've broke free of the throngs of people coming up for little hikes from Newfound Gap. We're back on the AT. Met tons of new and familiar faces down at the Gap. So my start today has been a bit delayed. Looks like I'm probably gonna get into my shelter toys late, probably six or seven. So, when I'm going by the first shelter that's coming up here, ice water shelter, I think it is, I'm gonna check the time when I swing by there. And if it's already getting pretty late and it doesn't look like the 10 and a half miles for today is feasible, I might just stop there. There's gonna be a ton of hikers coming into that shelter tonight. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we do. But coming off of zero, I'm definitely antsy today to get in some miles, start moving this wheel up north. And uh, now we're starting to see snow on the ground again, and a little bit of ice on the trail.
So I've got the microscope spikes on again. But uh, the ice is intermittent. So I'm walking a lot on just rock and dirt. And then coming along stretches like this where I'm pretty happy I've got the spikes on because I can just walk right up this. places where there's ways around it, but it's nice to just be able to walk straight up the ice. Time to put the spikes back on again. Rumor mill on the trail is that it gets pretty gnarly up ahead. That's pretty much how it goes this time of year. On, off, on, off, stop, go. It's hard to walk in them. They kind of hurt my feet a little bit. They squish my toes a little. So I don't really like walking when I'm in them when I don't have to, but I have them. So I'm gonna use them when I need them. And if anyone's wondering what they look like, this is what the bottoms are like. <laughs> There you go. That's what they look like. Charlie's Bunyan now on a little side spur trail. It's supposed to be pretty steep. Hopefully I can make it this way and don't have to backtrack. Finally got into the groove of the day. Once I got past Charlie's Bunyan, I haven't seen anybody. There were loads and loads of day hikers going up to the viewpoint. And it was worth it. Could see why they were hiking up there. Um, but I'm past that now. I'm on my own. It feels great. Um, so I just wanted to get going on a little bit more um, about me. Since I've got seven months to tell you my life story. Figure I'll just dribble it out in bits and pieces. When I was 21, I moved alone to Houston, Texas, and that was where I started running. Um, I never did, it was just recreational running. I never did more than six miles over the three and a half years that I lived there. Just 
realized that I never shared with you what my plan was for today. So gravity dropped me off at newfound gap at 12 o'clock. And so I was going to hike uh, half a day. That would be like a half a day. Um, but there are no shelters uh, in between three miles from the gap and 10 and a half miles from the gap. I got by the shelter three miles from the gap, ice, shelter, ice house shelter, something like that. Um, and it was only 2.15ish and there was nobody there. I was like, nope, can't do it. It's too early in the day. I'm taking so much time off. I really need to get some mileage in today. And I kind of had figured back at Gravity's that I would push for the 10 and a half. Um, but I got out of the gap late because so many hikers were coming in, stopping and chatting and hanging out. So I didn't leave there until like 1.15. Um, so uh, I didn't really know how far I was gonna get. Right now it is like 5.45 and I have just under three miles left to the uh, Hex something shelter. I can't remember the name of the shelters today. Um, and it's gonna mean I'll get there about seven o'clock, I think. Maybe a little bit earlier if I stop videoing and move my ass. Um, but uh, the point of this little blurb is I am feeling rock solid today. Really needed that rest day. As much as, you know, it was on my fifth zero in 23 days, I really needed it and it's paid off. I got a really, really good night's sleep last night. I didn't wake up all night until 4.15 this morning. Um, everything is moving really well today. No aches and pains. And the distance is coming, the miles are just coming to me. So I'm going with the Pex shelter. Um, and then I'll try and hang back to like 13 miles the next couple days. But it's tough in the Smokies because you've got to camp at the shelters. So your mileage dictate is dictated by them. Uh, but I just wanted to report, I feel really good today. One of the best days so far. Yay! <laughs> So I was pretty sure earlier today I had smelled weed. Someone smoking it for a long time. I was beginning to think I was going crazy or there were some plants growing that smelled like marijuana. But I just noticed a footprint on a rock. So someone is, and it's pretty fresh. So someone's just ahead of me and more I can't imagine that they're not going to the shelter unless they're not going to follow the rules. So I will have company there tonight. Stay tuned. There's my six, my intersection that I've been waiting for. The name of the shelter is Pex Corner Shelter. It's 0.4 off the trail. I was hoping that would deter some people from coming down here, but uh, there's two people ahead. I don't recognize them. Um, it's possible they might be section hikers, and I haven't camped with too many of them. So, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what this is all about down here tonight. Maybe I'm getting a little social. So we have a full house here at Peck's Shelter. I got the last spot. And Catherine is here. Hello. Say hi, Catherine. Hi. <laughs>